hello hello welcome back to another video hopefully this ankle is going to work I'm trying to fit different ways to um shoot this and film this but anyways how are you today hopefully you're doing good and keeping busy as we are stuck in our homes and um, going through this difficult time and hopefully all those that are essential workers are keeping themselves safe and we just really every i mean from coming from me and my family we really appreciate those that are still working in this time. Um, I can work from home and actually, because I'm a teacher, we're on spring break currently, but um, after spring break ends this week, we are gonna be on um, digital learning, so I can work from home. So those that do have to keep going out to work, um, just know that I appreciate you and thank you for doing what you do. Anyways, moving from there, please ignore my hair today, it is looking crazy right now I haven't done it or anything but I wanted to film this video um, actually refilm this video I filmed it once before but I'm gonna film it again um, and the video I want to talk about today or the thing I want to talk about today is um, sort of my top countries where I watch shows from so besides the US obviously I do watch shows from my own country which is um, USA United States but I also think that some of the best shows come from other countries around the world and I actually watch um, the majority of TV I watch is actually from other countries in other languages and with other cultures and I can really appreciate those so if that is interesting to you please stick around um, and just hear you know some other options now that we're quarantined if you want to get into watching some um, foreign TV this is a great list to reference if you're interested in watching shows from another country so i'm going to be doing a get ready with me to go nowhere <laughs> to sit in my living room and talk about my top show uh countries that i go to to find great tv series dramas etc etc so all of these countries i'm going to mention have amazing shows great actors great production um and i've loosely ranked them this is not a definitive list but I will say my top three are the countries that I go to find their shows the most. Like my top three choices, I say I've watched maybe my top, yeah, top three or four choices. Um, I watch shows from those countries the most. And that's not to say that the other countries, I don't enjoy their shows. But the top three, I would say, are the countries I go to to find shows more often than not. So, um, yeah, let's get started. Also, I wanted to show my t-shirt getting bored i decided to make t-shirts with i have norman bates on here with one of my favorite qu quotes from psycho we all go a little mad sometimes so if you're bored at home too make a project up so me and my little sister my younger sister have been making t-shirts so just to pass the time i have so many different hobbies that i don't get to do because i teach and i'm always busy um lesson planning and trying to find things for my students and buying things for students and making sure everything is good when I go to school that I don't have time sometimes for some of my hobbies or things I used to enjoy. Um, so now that I've been home all this time, I've been having to find different ways to entertain myself and my sister as well. So I have uh, got back to practicing my keyboard, making stuff. We were painting the other day, but yeah, enough of that. Let me get started with um, the Get Ready With Me. I'm going to list the products I'm using in the description box if you need to, um, if you want to know what any of the products are. And then let's get into the list. All right. All right I'm going to be using the Alma Palette, which is a collaboration with Amy Hearts Beauty, which is an indie brand uh, with Amy Loves Makeup, who is a YouTuber that I really enjoy her videos. Like when I first found her channel, I just binged a lot of her videos. She's really cool um, and she does reviews and also highlights a lot of indie brands. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to use this palette today. I've um, used it about two times before. This is what it looks like. It's like blues and purples and like some pinky tones as well. So I'm going to be using that today um, to continue trying it out, see what I think about it. Um, but yeah, so... That's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to start off with my countries, ranking them, and all of that for TV shows that I enjoy from those countries. Alright, so 
I'm, I have 11 here on my list, um, which is kind of an odd number, but that's just what it came out to be. I've already primed my eyes and primed my skin as well, just so that those can sink in. But yeah, let's get into it. So um, for number 11 on my list is France. Um, a little backstory here. I studied two different languages in high school and into college. And those were Spanish and French. And I had both languages in high school, um, which a lot of people found strange. But I just enjoy languages. I enjoy learning languages and learning about cultures. So, and it was weird how it kind of happened. I started Spanish first. Well, sorry, if you can hear that, that is the lawnmower. Hopefully, that's not too loud. But yeah, so I started with um, both languages, actually, in a middle school. We had like an introduction class that you could just see both languages, how they were. And then you can choose in eighth grade. So that was seventh grade. And then in eighth grade, you can choose which one you like best. And I was going to go with French at first, but I ended up taking Spanish because my sisters were taking it. And then, so then I ended up taking Spanish in eighth grade, but then we moved to another school for high school and they put me in French which I was like okay I want to take French anyways but then I was like I don't want to waste that year of Spanish I learned in eighth grade either so the next year so I took a whole year of French in ninth grade and then when I got in 10th grade I was like you know what I'm not I don't want to waste that whole year of Spanish and I had like kind of studied it by myself for ninth grade year that was just how I am just put an extra studying and work on myself but so I decided to go to my counselor and I was like, I've already took um, Spanish one in eighth grade. So for 10th grade, is there any way I can have Spanish two and French two? And that's how I ended up taking both languages. But anyways, sorry about that. I just had to stop the video because the grass was being cut and it was just way too loud. Plus my family had decided all to start yelling and doing stuff so if you hear background noise i do live with my family right now so that's what that is in the background um not much i can do about it but yeah let's continue on so like i said number 11 is france um and i love the language so that is one reason why that one is on my list as well as they have really good shows um one i would recommend is Le revenant Live as a not, yeah, you can tell that French didn't go very far, um, but it basically translates to like the ghost or the return, which is what they named it for um the English uh version of the show they did do the show um remake it here in the u s I, I think because I saw that one also on Netflix, but the French version is the original version of it, and it's really good, so check out Fran uh shows from France. Um, if you're interested in watching some shows from there and seeing some really good storylines and interesting concepts. Um, and also if you love the language and the culture, that's one way to learn more about France is by watching shows from the country, which is one thing I do to help me remember and keep the language that I did learn. Um, as much as I don't study anymore and I'm a Spanish teacher, I still want to keep the French that I learned. So I do watch shows, um, or read. So that's one reason why I'm recommending shows from France. They're pretty good. All right, moving on to number 10. I'm going to try to move this along. Number 10 on my list is Spain. Um, again, I'm a Spanish teacher and I would consider myself, uh, well, obviously I have to be fluent in the language. So I am fluent in the language, but even still, I'm not a native speaker. So I still always have the practice of listening, speaking, everything in Spanish. And so I have took up watching some shows from um, Spain and other Spanish-speaking countries as well, but Spain makes it on my list because they have some really great shows with good concepts. Um, one recommendation I would have that uh, was on Netflix, I don't know if it is anymore, but um, one show from Spain that I really enjoyed is called El Internado, um, and it's about a group of kids that live in this forest and they're trying to solve this mystery, but there are other many great shows from France, um, I mean, sorry, from Spain as well. There's another one I watched on Netflix. I can't remember the name of it, but yeah, if you want to get some good shows from Spain, check out Netflix. 
I know they have a, quite a few options. And also movies from Spain are really good as well. If you want to have some good movies, there's so many good movies from Spain. Check those out. So yes, number 10 on my list is Spain. Plus, again, if you're learning Spanish or you want to learn Spanish, that will be a good option. If you want to learn how to listen well, is watch some shows and you can put subtitles on. And once you start getting better, you can put the subtitles, change them from English and put them into Spanish and read the Spanish while you're listening, which is a really good option for those trying to learn the language. But yes, um, Spain has some really good TV shows as well as um, I do watch some um, YouTubers from Spain as well. Um, there's one guy on YouTube, I think his name is Vicente, and he does language videos about the language. So YouTube also check out some YouTubers from Spain. They're really awesome. But yes, yeah, so number 10 is Spain. Let's move into number nine, which is India. Um, so these last three I've mentioned, France, Spain, and India, I haven't watched as many shows from these countries, which is why they kind of are towards the um, bottom of my list because I just haven't watched as many shows from those countries. Yeah, so India's number nine. The reason why I have India on this list is because they have some really great, um, sorry, they have some really great dramatic shows. Um, so if you like like soap opera type shows or shows with like good drama and twist and all that kind of stuff, India is a great option. They have really interesting plots and characters and they just really keep you entertained because some wacky stuff happens in some of these um indian like more soap opera drama type of shows which are the ones that i've mostly seen um and where i go to watch those indian shows are some on netflix they don't have a whole bit lot of options on netflix though so i've gone to youtube to try to find some of the Indian shows so that's one reason why I haven't seen that many is because they're just hard to find um for if you don't live in India basically or you know if they don't broadcast in your country um and English subtitles are also another thing that makes me stick to YouTube and Netflix because a lot of times those shows will have English subtitles so um that's something to think about you might not be able to find that many shows from India and it Excuse me if you don't speak the language obviously you will need subtitles so yeah that's why i haven't watched that many from india but i would recommend based on the shows that i have seen um they're just really really awesome shows good actors um i love their um when they do their traditional more traditional clothing in the show so it's something beautiful to look at the culture is very interesting if you don't know anything about india or if you do and you want to learn more a great option to watch shows from that country and I like listening to the language as well even though I don't understand it I just like to listen to languages that's one thing I love to do um, one show to recommend that I saw on YouTube is called Bepana probably saying that really wrong I'll put it in the description box but that one is a really great show that I watched on YouTube all right so we're moving into the um, next one which is number eight um, which is Mexico Yes, so number eight on my list is shows from Mexico. I'm just gonna show you what I've done so far. I took that as kind of like my base, then I put that in the crease, now I'm putting this in the outer corner, and I'm gonna put this kind of purpley shade all um, over the lid. And it's kind of like a beautiful, shifty blue, purple, duochrome type of shade, really pretty. I'm gonna use the same brush, I'm just gonna clean it. Yes, number eight is Mexico. Um, Mexico has some really great options of tv shows um and these um i guess for people that are from us this might be more um what's the word you might be more familiar with mexican telenovelas um so yeah the telenovelas are very very interesting to watch you get a lot of dramatic moments in in those but you can also find other types of shows from mexico there's a lot of options on netflix for mexican television um and if you like dramatic shows or shows with lots of um, dramas, twists, um, fun characters, definitely check out shows from Mexico. Uh, a lot of the shows I've seen are a bit older and they're falling more under that telenovela, uh, telenovela type where there's a lot of drama and twist endings and kind of craziness going on. 
but they're very enjoyable to watch um some i would recommend is ruby which is a good one i got that suggestion from um a friend to watch that one I'm sorry one recommendation i would have would be ruby which is a good one it's an older one um i have some more written down where they at another recommendation would be la usurpadora which is a good one um la reina del la reina del sur um maria la del barrio is a good one la fea mas bella is another good one so all of those are good options if you want to check out some um interesting shows from mexico and i will write those down in the description box as well good options good shows um yeah so if you want to check out some really great shows with great acting those ones i mentioned are all a bit older but i know there's um newer shows as well on netflix so definitely check those out all right so moving on to number seven is um turkey turkey has some really great options of shows now again turkey is a little bit harder to find those shows um but if you know where to look you can find some so i've found quite a few options on netflix and as well as quite a few options on youtube so if you're interested in watching any shows from turkey those would be where i would suggest you look is youtube and netflix um again another country that has really great actors production and storylines and it's very unique because you get to learn about um the culture in turkey which i had no idea about until i started watching the dramas and it made me more interested to learn about that country so that's another great benefit to watching shows from other countries is you get to start to learn about that country and get um information about that country that maybe you were wouldn't be able to figure out or learn otherwise so yes turkey is a great option um their shows are very good um you can tell they put a lot of effort into making the shows look nice getting good actors getting at a good set design and costumes and all that not costumes but you know wardrobe and all that good stuff um i do i have seen some great ones on netflix um sorry that's my niece crying in the background oh some suggestions i one that was really good was a thousand and one nights um which has a twist on like the aladdin story but modernized um they have some good crime and mystery shows as well if you want to see some of those I just watched one, Olin Kadar. Please forgive me throughout the whole video if I say something wrong. I don't speak a majority of these languages, but that one was really good. Um, it was about this man that got set up for a crime he didn't do, and it's just crazy. Oh, on his wedding day, he got set up for killing a man and got sentenced to prison, and just amazing um, TV show. And I'm also watching one called Tears of Heaven on YouTube. Very good. Now, one thing I will note, the shows I've uh, seen on YouTube from Turkey have been quite long. I almost feel like they put two episodes into one. So the videos are like an uh, hour 30, hour 40 minutes. Um, so that's one thing to note um, about the shows. And they do that on Netflix as well, too. So the TV, the episodes are quite long if you're going to get into the Turkish shows. All right, so yep, Turkey number seven, really good shows. Check out some from Turkey. All right, I'm going to be using a foundation I just received recently, which is this one, Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. Um, it's not the first time I've used it. I actually had a sample of it, but I liked it so much I decided to go ahead and buy. But yeah, I'm going to be using that foundation today to do my skin, do my base. All right, so let's continue with the list for number six is going to be Taiwan. Now, Taiwan has some really great shows and they're easier to find than a lot of other countries on this list. In reality, um, I've seen so many shows from uh, Taiwanese shows um, throughout the years that I've started watching shows from other countries. Taiwan has been one of the countries that I've seen some of the most um the majority of shows from that country i hope that makes sense like i've seen a lot of shows from taiwan i've seen a lot of taiwanese shows um and it ranks number six because 
I really do enjoy the shows, the acting, um, the plots, all of that good stuff. Um, and I just, one thing though that got it not in my top five is that sometimes um, the stories are not pulling me in as much, although they have some really great ones though that have ranked in my top 10 shows or of the year, all that good stuff high rating from me personally but i think that sometimes their shows don't pull me in as much so but it still ranks pretty high on my list though so i love shows from taiwan they're really good the actors are really good i love a lot of the actors from taiwan and i think that they bring something new to the shows that they do do and another thing that kind of got it knocked down from my top five is that the shows can't the episodes can be quite a bit longer than some of the shows um further down on the list they're like maybe hour 20 minutes so that's why it's at number six but yeah one thing i love about taiwanese shows is they just bring a freshness to the ideals that they come with up with the stories and a lot of other countries remake shows that were first taiwanese shows so that goes to show that they have some great plots and stories um and great storytelling but yeah um Taiwan is actually also one of the first countries I started watching shows from, South Korea and Taiwan. So, spoiler, South Korea is going to be on this list as well. I have so many recommendations from Taiwan um, for TV shows. One, Before you, um, before We Get Married was one I finished more recently. Really good. Um, Devil Beside You is an older one I love. Autumn's Concerto is a great one. It's an older one as well really good it has this trope that's in a lot of uh tv shows with amnesia and all this good stuff meteor garden love that one that one's an older one too the perfect match is a good one it has one of my favorite actors chris Wu. but yes as you can see so many good options from taiwan and um the best place i see to watch taiwanese shows is netflix and also this app called Vicky um, if you have a uh, Amazon fire stick or a computer a laptop or something like that you can watch it on this app called Vicky and they have a lot of Taiwanese shows um, so that's where I watch a lot of them that I do watch is on that app and they're just really great shows so that is why Taiwan is number six on my list all right, so moving on to number five, Thailand. Thailand is obviously another Asian country. A lot of these are Asian countries, actually, like a majority. Yeah, I mean, the majority of them are in Asia. But um, Thailand has some really awesome shows. I got into Thai shows a little bit after some of these other countries, like that are further down on my list coming up. But once I got to watching shows from thailand definitely was hooked i like their humor it's pretty funny it's quite different um obviously each country is going to have different jokes humor etc etc but i really enjoy the storylines as well there's a lot of dramatic fun storylines that can really pull you in and, and are very interesting the actors are good and as well as with um, all of these countries, I love the language and hearing the language, as well as I've learned a lot about Thailand that I didn't know about. Before I watched their shows, I didn't know much about Thailand. That could go for all of these countries on this list. It really helped me gain appreciation for the country and their culture and the people there. So yes, that's why number five is Thailand. Um, so many good shows from Thailand that I can recommend you. Um, one of my favorites is called Juanita. Um, I'll link it. I'll write it down below again. Um, is one of mine that I really like. I don't know if a lot of people like that one, but I enjoyed it. Although it was kind of frustrating for the main female lead. The, the guy was kind of a jerk. And he, like, they got married and whatever. But he was still, like, trying to see his old girlfriend and stuff, which... Very frustrating. But... It is just a show, and I ended up really enjoying it. And one thing I really love also about most of these shows, um, especially the ones that are from Asian countries, is the OSTs or the soundtrack. 
and I just learned so many great songs and that show Juanita has one of my favorite songs that I listen to all the time so Thailand is one they have some really great options you can watch some shows from Thailand on Netflix they do have some options but they don't have um a whole whole lot a lot of the shows from Thailand that I've watched I've just had to search online uh, which can be difficult but if you find any online site that has the shows and volunteers that have translated which thank you to all the volunteers out there that translate shows with two English subtitles with English subtitles because a majority of these shows obviously are made in other countries don't have English subtitles they're not catering to an English demographic or an English speaking demographic so thank you to all those uh, people that do subtitles for shows from other countries appreciate you but yeah so you have to find you have to just get lucky and hopefully someone is translating the show you want to see there's also sorry there's also a lot of Facebook groups if you're on Facebook that translate on Facebook you have to join the group and all that so Thailand is really awesome shows and that's why it's number five on my list I went ahead and do it a little bit of bronzing off screen but I'm gonna go on with my cheek products today from Colsas I'm gonna use their eight muse um, what is this called eight muse little duo with the blush and the highlight all right number four for me is definitely going to be Japan Japanese um, TV shows are just some of the best ones out there they have really great interesting um, ways that they do their shows and also stories and plots and things like that one thing I love about Japanese ooh, um, shows is the acting they have some really great actors um, and it just depends on what kind of show that you're that is pigmented okay what kind of shows you're looking for because some of their silly ones they the acting can get a bit campy or like you know over the top but i actually enjoyed those as well like some of my favorite shows has this kind of over the top acting that um is very <laughs> entertaining to watch um and then they have their more serious shows which i really enjoy as well i have so many favorite japanese shows that actually i rank really high with my own rating system i have a whole list of in a notebook a whole notebook of just all the shows i've watched hundreds of shows and i like to give them a rating when i'm done watching them um yeah but yeah um japanese shows oftentimes get high ratings for me like nines and tens because they have good storylines good plots good acting and there's always well not always but oh lord sometimes they have um a good moral to the story as well or they're saying something important within the story what they're trying to portray so yeah that's why Japanese shows rank really high for me um, there's sh also their series and this is true for the majority of countries are just one season versus like in the US there might be a show with like 10 season or five six seasons um, or 10 seasons too but with these countries I'm mentioning a majority of them there's just one season one story that has a set number of episodes and the story is done concisely within that season so that's why I really enjoy um, TV shows from foreign countries now not all the countries on my list are like that um, for example Mexico some of those are have a whole lot of episodes but like Thailand Taiwan um, Turkey those are more concise where you just have one season and you have a set number of episodes and Japanese are even more concise than most other countries so with theirs you have like 10 episodes 12 episodes um, which is very short when you think of it and it's just done within that 10 episodes you get that story you get you know your ending you get your satisfaction from that story within those 10 to 12 episodes so that's one thing I also love about Japanese um, TV shows. If I was to give some recommendations um, from TV shows from Japan, some of my favorites are Kazuku Game. Um, I love that sh uh, show, Still Life Goes On, which in Japanese is Sore Demo Ik 
Kite Yuku. Yikes. Um, number three I'm going to recommend is Liar Game. Love that show. And Hana Yori Dango, which is also... Uh, which is a show that I did mentioned earlier, Meteor Garden, which was from Taiwan, is a reversion, another version of that storyline, which actually is a story that started in Japan as a manga and anime, and then Taiwan made a live action, and then Japan made a live action, and also Korea made a uh, South Korea made a live action, and also China made a live action of the that same story. So. But yes, Hana Yuri Dango is one of my favorites as well and has some of my favorite actors from Japan. So, number four is Japan. And now I'm getting into my top three, which are probably my most favorite countries to watch shows from. So let's get into it. Top three. All right, I'm going into next this one to do a, a little bit of highlight. I love this highlight because it gives like just a wet look on the skin and not like enhances any of your pores or anything like that. It just really enhances the shine and looks really blinding but natural in a way. Well, not blinding, but very dewy and natural looking. All right, number three on my list is China. Um, China just has some really great shows. They really do. And they just put a lot of effort into the shows that they make. And they have so many shows um, as well that they produce throughout like the year. The one thing that kind of sucks with Chinese shows is that a lot of their topics will get restricted by the government. Like some, they can't do certain themes or topics within their shows, at least from what I've read. For example, time travel shows were banned for a while, which, but anyways, um, but they have some really great options to watch. There's so many Chinese shows out there to watch that you can look up on that app Vicky that I mentioned or on Netflix if you have a Netflix account or on YouTube as well there are some on YouTube although sometimes those you might get English subtitles you might not um, but if you speak Chinese that's you know that's an option um, what I love about the shows is they have great actors and actresses really good storylines um, concise stories again 16 to 20 to 24 episodes um, to longer ser uh, seasons with their historical, which are my favorite types of dramas from China. I love their historical dramas, dramas and his historical TV shows because it's a, a lot of times based on real history and I love history. It was one of my favorite subjects in school and Chinese history is very interesting as well. So it made me more interested in their history. Historical dramas are some of the best. So if you like period shows where it's back in time it's set you know hundreds of years ago um and you have all of that um court and drama and concubines and empresses and emperors and all the interesting uh, the things that go with those type of plots those are some really great dramas as well as their fantasy dramas are really good too um particularly their fantasy historical so yeah i do have some recommendations if you want to check out chinese dramas um, one is really good. It's a historical Nirvana, uh, Nirvana and Fire. Really good. Uh, it doesn't have like any romance. A lot of these shows will have some element of romance, even if that's not the main plot. This one really doesn't have that much. It's more of like this man is trying to outwit everybody else. And he just is so awesome with every plan he has. It's just like mind blowing. And the intrigue of it is him trying to get revenge and how he does that and how well he does it. It's amazing. Another historical, the story of Ming Lan, is an awesome one, and it has some romance in it, but it also has a really strong female uh, lead, which I love, and she's so intelligent and smart, and she doesn't let people push her around, which just a great story. Um, a fantasy historical, I have two, and they kind of have the same similar names. One is called Eternal Love, and the other one is called The Eternal Love. Both very great. Um, the other one has another name. It's called Ten Miles of Peach Blossom or something like that. So it has two names. Um, a good romance modern drama is, in case you don't like historicals, uh, the first half of my life is a nice one. And it's kind of a more mature All right, romance. Going on to number two. My number two pick for top dramas in from other or top TV shows from other countries 
is South Korea. I mentioned it earlier, so you know it has to be coming. South Korea, I, one of the first countries I started watching shows from. I'm just talking and not doing any makeup. Okay, what else do I need to do? I already put some gel through my eyebrows. Um, and bronze and cheek and highlight. I'm not doing much today. I think I'm going to do lips. And that's it. So, yeah. All right, so South Korea is number two because it's one of the first dramas I started watching shows from. And it's one of my favorite because it has so many shows available to watch. You can see some on Vicky. You can see some on Netflix. You can see some on, um, just search on, you, on the internet, South Korean drama, TV shows, English subtitles. There's so many options out there. And it's just amazing how many you can look up and search. Um, usually they're just one season. And the... Um, but about 16 to 24 um, episodes, usually some of their historicals are a bit longer, about anywhere from 24 to 50 episodes. Um, and the episode length is usually about 45 minutes on average. Um, they have some really great um, different genres to watch. Historicals, romance, crime, hospital, anything you can think of from South Korea they have um, their production is amazing great wardrobes and um, sets and just really well done shows and high quality shows so um, South Korea has some of the best shows probably in the world really some of the sh um, recommendations I might add on to that is um, if you like fantasy dramas Goblin is a great option um, some funny dramas, but like funny slash drama slash, um, yeah, like drama slash funny is Kill Me, Heal Me, one of my favorite shows and has one of my favorite actors in it. A good historical drama that is one of my favorite dramas of all time is Empress Key. It's, um, about the real Empress Key that was sent from South Korea and that's hundreds of years ago, obviously, obviously to China to be a basically like a slave, a tribute, um, and she ended up becoming the Empress of China. Really good story. Obviously, fictionalized and dramatized and <laughs> not the real exact story, but I love that show, and it has one of my favorite actresses in it as the main character. I'm just using this ColourPop Bullet Lips Thick in the Shade Bell from the Disney, um, collab with color pop yeah this one um another crime investigation drama if you're interested in that and not romance is signal that one's a really good one um yeah oh i forgot to mention one for chinese scarlet heart and Rui's um royal love in the palace are two historical dramas that are really good and scarlet heart has some elements of fantasy in it so sorry that's china back to south korea um yeah so south korea is number two on my list I've watched, I mean, I've been watching South Korean shows for years now, since I was like a sophomore in, in college, so three, four years now. Yeah, about three or four years now. So I've watched hundreds of South Korean shows at this point. I've ranked a lot of them. I can give even more recommendations if anyone wants some. Um, and it's one of my favorite countries to watch shows from. Also, the language. I love the language as well. If I could learn uh that language that would be amazing i love the language but yeah so number two is south korea let's get to number one the sh a country that has blew me away and where i'm watching a lot of shows right now number one all right everyone ahead and put on a setting spray off camera and i'm not going to do anything on the lower lash today I just don't feel like it i'm not going anywhere i am going to put a little bit of mascara on though and i'm going to use this one that I got in a boxy charm, or I think. Um, so number one right now, which I don't know if this will come as a surprise or not, but Pakistan is my number one right now. And where I'm watching a lot of my shows from is Pakistan. I just really love, I, since I started um, watching this, and the first one I watched was on Netflix. And if you're looking to find some of these shows, um, unfortunately, Netflix doesn't have that many options of shows from Pakistan 
but Pakistani shows are really, really good. I've seen quite a few at this point, and the majority of the ones I've seen have been on YouTube with English subtitles. Um, and if you're lucky enough to find some, um, they're really awesome shows to watch. Quite a bit of a culture shock going to um, watch Pakistani shows because they do have a different culture, obviously, and a different religion than myself. And so when I first started watching them, I was like, oh, this is just so interesting because I don't really know anything about Pakistan. I don't, they don't really teach anything to us about them in school ever um, in the U.S. So it's really interesting to sort of learn about the culture in Pakistan and their religion and their social norms, all of that good stuff. But also they just have really good stories, really good um, meanings to their shows their shows have some sort of moral lesson to them and i think the actors and actresses are amazing the language is very beautiful to listen to in my opinion as well if i could learn it i would hop on that chance to learn that language and i try to study a little bit just so i can um you know when i get interested in a, a country and a culture I, I like to know a couple words from the language so that goes for all of these countries on my list i like to know at least a little bit about their language a couple words a few couple phrases um just to show a little interest in the country and so Pakistan has some of the best shows in my opinion right now that I like to watch they're just very entertaining um great plots great stories very different so please just you know go into it with an open mind if you want to try out some of their shows um and the majority I've seen are on YouTube there are a couple on Netflix one is the first one I ever watched which is Hum Safar um and I know I'm not saying that right probably, but that one's a really good one. It's on Netflix. At least it was on Netflix. Another one was Zindagi Gulsar Hey. Hopefully I'm saying that right. That one was on Netflix as well. And just so many shows that I've seen on YouTube. I can give recommendations. I can put them in the description box. Um, but they're just really good shows. And I love the actors, the actresses, the um, their wardrobe they have some of the most beautiful clothes and I think that they're just bringing something different that I've never seen before in such an interesting way with their plots their stories um, I really love watching shows from Pakistan um, I'm obsessed with them right now they are harder to find especially with English subtitles <sighs> if you speak Urdu lucky you can understand um, the runtime for episodes are about 40 minutes and again they're just one season very concise story um so that's amazing um oh you can also find some on daily motion but a lot of those don't have subtitles but again um if you can speak the language that's another place you can get them um and then another thing that's tricky is that sometimes um if you do find a show on youtube it might be blocked for your country it might not be available to watch in your country so you might have to use a vpn to watch the shows so yeah those are some that i've um just really been enjoying from pakistan and um do i have some recommendations and more recommendations for pakistan this is the most that i wrote for recommendations because i've been watching these a lot um I won't read all of those. I'll put them in the description box, but some good ones I've watched. Do Bol, D-O space B-O-L. Um, Rusua, I was watching um, Koi Chan Brock. is a really great one. But yeah, so anyways, number one is Pakistan. That is pretty much this whole video. Um, are there other countries that have great shows that you want to share? Please put them in the comments below. Maybe I'll start watching shows from other countries that I never thought to watch from. That's what the beauty of our having the internet and being so connected all over the world. We get to learn about other cultures and other languages and watch shows from other countries, which is my favorite thing to do. So if you have other suggestions or other countries, or maybe you're from another country and you think the shows in your country are awesome and I should check them out, please write them in the comment box below or in the comment section below. Um, if you like this video, um, please give it a thumbs up and if you enjoy videos like this, please subscribe because the content will continue to come, especially now that we're quarantined and I have time to film. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and 
see you next time.